Well guys, it's winter time. So you know what that means. Everybody's sick. Constantly. I just got over being sick for about the oh, third time in the last uh, month and a half. So I got about five minutes before I'm sick again. Quick, let's start the show. Don't do this at home. Today, guys, we have an unbanded. This is the Camacho Connecticut Shade Scorpion Fumus. It's a lot to fit in the title, so I apologize for the, the, the long, uh, drawn-out sentence there. But, but yes, so this is a Fumus version of the Camacho Scorpion, which is the Scorpion Connecticut. So yeah, anyways, basically, we've got... Probably my favorite Camacho, which is the Connecticut Shade, the yellow band. And then we've got a Scorpion, which is kind of an amped up version of it. And then we've got a cheaper, short filler made cigar that uh, is incredibly affordable. And let's find out how smokable. Outside, we've got a Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. Inside, a mix of Honduran and Nicaraguan fillers. Like I said, very cheap, coming in at right around a buck seventy-five a piece in this robusto format, which is a five by fifty. The appearance for such a cheap stick is actually really quite incredible. Uh, all the seams are laid nice and tight, uh, minimal veins, pretty decent double cap at the top. Um, a little loose on the pack, I will say, but um, as far as you know, I, I, I've seen much worse construction in uh, you know eight and ten dollar sticks. So uh, excellent appearance overall, and of course no band around this one. The aroma is tough because I just peeled a, a, a Satsuma for my son not too long ago, so all I can smell in my hands is orange. Ah, I even washed them. I could not get it out. There's actually more aroma from the filler than there is from the, uh, from the wrapper. A bit of a light, almost kind of like a sweet hay, I believe. I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's get this thing cut. All right, yeah, it, it cut decently. Um, because it's a short filler cigar, there's just a... One of the things that bugs me about short filler cigars is the amount of just loose tobacco up here at the top. But if you just take a couple extra seconds to sort of flip all that out with your thumb and blow it out of there, it makes your smoking experience a whole lot better without getting crap in between your teeth and stuff like that. So um, the draw was uh, a little on the loose side and just like a hint of raisin, I think as far as the flavor on the pre-light draw is concerned. So nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and get lit. Well, this is embarrassing. <clears throat> I'm gonna go fill my uh, my lighter up with uh, butane, and then on then then we'll get lit. Can you tell it's been a while since I've done a review? Normally, I would be prepared and make sure that my lighter has fluid in it and everything. And um, yeah, it's just been a while because, like I said, I've been sick forever. Gee, many Christmas. Okay, <clears throat> let's get lit. <laughs> Well guys, this thing is firing on all cylinders right out of the bat. <clears throat> Big, giant cloud of smoke on the first puff. <clears throat> Starting off with a nice even burn, even right away. It's actually burning really quickly from what I can see. Could have something to do with the somewhat loose pack that I noticed earlier and the fact that it's got an extremely easy draw. So I'm gonna have to watch myself and make sure that I'm not drying too much and overheating the cigar. But, <clears throat> just packed the flavor right out of the gate. First thing I noticed was a, kind of a burnt sugar flavor, sort of a beginning of the finish. Uh, draw flavor is some, uh, some almost kind of like a, like a dark cedar flavor, kind of odd. Um, I, it's not like your normal cedar uh, flavor that you get out of a cigar. It's kind of like a darker, almost burnt cedar, which not that I've ever tasted burnt cedar, but I've smelled it. So and let's face it, <laughs> the flavors that you get out of a cigar 
Are they flavors or are they aromas? You know, who really knows? You know, it's, it's sort of a 50-50 sort of a thing there. So anyways, sort of, yeah, like, honestly, like a, a burnt cedar flavor, a little bit of a burnt sugar flavor in there as well. Could just be some sweetness uh, mingling with that already burnt flavor in there. And now on the draw, just a, just the slightest hint of black pepper uh, lingering through the retro hill uh, as well. A lot of words. <clears throat> Anyways, um, that's all I got so far. And uh, we'll check in a little bit. Oh, well, guys, I'm only about 10 to 15 minutes into this thing. This thing is packed with smoke. I don't know how well you can tell <clears throat> with the camera, but there is just a ton of smoke coming out of this thing. It started off that way, and it's definitely continuing. The ash looks pretty good, although I do have a feeling it's probably going to fall off any minute now. Let's try it. No, it's still holding on, even with some a couple of taps on there, but anyways, uh, decent burn, not uh, not completely even, but nothing to complain about. The draw is still extremely loose, um, so I only complain about it so far, but it's just packed with flavor and like I said, tons of smoke too. The flavor is mostly cedar and pepper. It's still, it's still got a little bit of that burnt sugar flavor to it, but it's just a really a heavy cedar flavor on the draw and it sort of continues out with just a touch of black pepper right on the kind of middle of the tongue uh, throughout the finish. And the retro hail is nice and easy. Uh, the smoke itself, I'd say, is probably closer to a medium body. I was kind of expecting it to be a, a lighter body cigar. You know, I, I picked a kinetic shade wrapper since it's the first uh, first review I've done in a while, you know, trying to take it easy, uh, you know, find something a little bit uh, more mild, but man, it is just packed with flavor and, you know, a good medium body. And, you know, I, I'm really enjoying it. So I'll keep going. We'll see where this goes. All right, well, that's where the ash fell off. I'm a little past the halfway point, I think. I think it's still going strong. Um, one thing of note is that that darn ash did not want to fall off. So that little bit there was what was left after I bumped the thing and finally knocked it off, I mean, the, the ash was holding on like crazy. I mean, not what you'd expect out of a short filler cigar, but I mean, the thing was almost half the length of the cigar before it finally fell off, and that was only because I bumped it on a chair. So, there was most of that one left, like a little angle there. Anyways, besides the point, just kind of odd. Anyways, um, decent burn, like I said, great ash. <clears throat> uh, incredibly easy draw. Um, I've had a couple of these doing my you know, research and I haven't noticed that light draw on those other ones. Um, could just be this particular stick, but it's really easy to overheat the thing. And I will say, you know, I'm always, uh, I'm always talking about, you know, don't overheat your cigar. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine and things like that. Well, this is one of those sticks where when you do overheat it, the flavor really suffers. I, I, I noticed it almost immediately, I was like, oh, okay, I'm puffing too much on this thing, and then the flavors really turned a little bit bitter. So, but once I set it down, let it rest for a while, and then kind of came back to it, the flavor kind of came came back and, and was back to its usual self after that. So, just a thing of note, you know, don't overheat your cigar. It really uh, it really affects the, the flavor, the, 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 um, the temperature of the smoke. It gets too hot, and you feel it on your tongue. Anyways. <clears throat> the flavor really hasn't changed. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of uh, doing a check-in because I usually do about this time. It's still pretty much the exact same flavors. If anything, I'd say the second third is maybe a little more creamy, uh, a little less of the, the burnt sugar flavor. That's about it. It's, it's pretty much the same. And maybe a little less of the black pepper on the, the, the end of the finish. That's it. So we'll see you at the end. Here it goes. Well, there we go, guys. All right, let's talk about it. Started off, first third, <clears throat> lots of smoke output. That was really prevalent right from the first puff. Extremely easy draw all the way through. The flavors right at the front were mostly cedar, a little bit of black pepper on the, uh, just the end of the finish, and uh, also on the retrohale. Also a burnt sugar flavor that was uh, kind of a, almost like a burnt cedar, burnt, sugar flavor, which was kind of kind of different, kind of unique, but very good, very uh, very easy to enjoy. Um, that worked its way through the second third. Um, a little bit of creaminess there in the second third as well. 
Final third, honestly, probably my least favorite third. Um, more uh, like an earth flavor. It's kind of weird. Um, the, the cedar almost completely went away. Lots of earth. Um, very kind of hot smoke because it's had such an easy draw. It was really easy to overheat. Um, but even letting it rest a lot in that final third um, had a lot of just sort of heady earth flavors. Not quite as enjoyable there in that final third. But overall, still an excellent stick. The, uh, the first half of the cigar held on with the ash, just gigantic, which, I mean, for a short filler cigar was really impressive. <clears throat> Construction, uh, the burn was perfectly even all the way down. No touch-ups, uh, no relights, no nothing like that. Uh, so a very easy to smoke cigar, uh, and especially at the price point, I mean, you can smoke them at any time. You don't have to worry about touch-ups. You don't have to worry about anything like that. So uh, always good to see that in, in a really uh, budget-friendly stick, something you can kind of stick between your teeth and go do whatever you're doing and not worry about it. Like I said, the price point on these is, is really low. I mean, it's, it's, it's under $2 a stick, which is phenomenal for a good smoking cigar around, uh, you know, nowadays, <laughs> it's really hard to find those. So. Uh, that's why I love doing these reviews, to let you guys know that you know you don't have to spend all of your hard-earned money on cigars to smoke every day. And this is just another one of them. Uh, no strength to speak of. Like I said, medium bodied. I picked this one up today because I just I haven't been able to smoke very many cigars lately and I wanted to go with something that was nice and easy. Uh, you know, a, a light body, but it was more of a medium. Thankfully, no strength to deal with or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, a great cigar. Uh, I highly recommend you check them out. I don't believe, um, I do not believe that Cigar Page carries this particular one. They do have the, the Connecticut Scorpions, which is a fantastic cigar. Uh, the link for Cigar Page is in the description below. Please check them out. Um, anytime you click on that link to buy cigars, I get a little kickback, so I always appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so that's it for that cigar. Um, I do have some really great reviews coming up as long as I can stay healthy. It's just been so tough. You know, once you have a kid that goes to public school, man, it's like you want to have like a, a, a hand sanitizer shower when they, when they walk in the door because you just get sick constantly. So it's really hard for me to get out here and do reviews every week like I like to do um, when you've got that going on. So um, I've got some really great reviews coming up. Um, I want to try and do a, uh, a video of what I think are some of the top cigars of this year. Um, but to do that, and I gotta review them first. So I gotta get them out. And so I'm gonna do my best to try and uh, knock those out. And hopefully you'll see some really good videos from me coming up soon. I will try, I make no promises, but I'm gonna try. So I'll leave you with that guys. And as always, happy smoking.